we asked some of you. Ang ina sa Philippines na ako, siguro it's time na mag-open na ng sariling business ko. Ako yung tipo na nani na madaling maratel. So yung pinaka-easy access sa akin, yung pinaka-malapit na klinika. Sobrang convenient po ng LRT. Ang layo ng ruta niya eh. Yung LRT ride ko talaga is may me time. Minsan I read a book or nag-sound trip ako sa LRT. I can run freely where I am surrounded by trees. I wish then um, there will be more uh, work opportunities in the future na pwede siyang maging successful. Perhaps we can't provide world peace and teleportation at the moment, but we continue to strive toward creating a world full of possibilities. In recent years, we have adopted a more imaginative approach to business. We pursued sectors with major gaps in capacity, accessibility, quality, and affordability that are critical for our countrymen. Genuinely listening, truly understanding, mindfully creating, this is our way. We heard that only 27% of high school finishers get to enter college. And among those who enter college, only 19% get to graduate, with only 9% considered employable. The youth want skills that are relevant to employers and will help them achieve the best possible career for them. We could do this if we bridge education to employment. We learned that 6 out of 10 Filipinos who succumb to sickness die without ever seeing a doctor. Most pharmaceutical products are still, in some cases, 30 times more expensive than in other developing countries. People can have affordable health care services and products through a new chain of primary care clinics and retail pharmacy for generic medicine. We know that our economy is losing 2.4 billion pesos a day in potential income due to traffic congestion. Mobility and efficiency are what lead to a progressive metropolis. Before this can happen, we need proper infrastructure in place. We were made aware that to support the growing demand of the country, the Philippines needs over 17,000 megawatts of additional capacity by the year 2030. Efforts of the private sector in renewable energy are now becoming a significant source of the nation's energy requirements. Filipinos are gradually responding to sustainable living. As much as we live with the times, we are always looking ahead and working forward, together with you. We challenge convention when we see the potential to make a difference. In every opportunity, we are driven to make things better and do them right. Ultimately, we would like to think that we are in the business of improving lives, for you and every Filipino. In our quest for purpose and relevance, you may have noticed that there's a little bit of Ayala everywhere, ever since anyone can remember. An Ayala for a budding local entrepreneur. An Ayala as you traverse the metro. An Ayala who helps you get well. An Ayala that all starts with you. Because if there's anything we learned in the last two centuries we've been around, is that if it's good for you, and you, and him, and her, and the community, then it can be good for everyone. We're going to keep asking questions, seeking answers, listening, because we want to understand what we really need to progress as a society. In the end, no matter what business we enter, our goal is not just to succeed, but to reinvent the way things work, to change people's lives, for the better. Because we know we can only create that one future if we value today. Together.